Hello, I'm Eric Singer. This is your Gazette Afternoon Delivery for Friday, June 13th, from your Pulitzer Prize winning newsleader. A revised petition to recall El Paso County Sheriff Terry Makita was approved by the El Paso County Clerk and Recorder's Office. You'll remember on Thursday, the draft petition was submitted and then rejected by the county. Randy Stagner submitted a revised version of the petition Friday morning, and it was approved early afternoon. He can start collecting signatures on Saturday. One Colorado Springs City Council member could be the end all if voters will get a chance to vote on recreational marijuana sales in November. Joel Miller could be the hinge vote to help make the decision. Other city council members want Colorado Springs voters to collect the necessary signatures and put it on the ballot. The earliest any discussion could happen is June 23rd. Wrong place, wrong time for a Colorado woman hoping to reach a milestone. 64-year-old Deidre Horan plans to visit all 50 state capitals before she turns 70. The Englewood area woman was bitten by a dog at Oklahoma's Capitol building June 4th, and now she's home getting rabies shots which costs thousands. Four large dogs appeared. She got bit by one of them. One dog was eventually captured, but it doesn't look like any of the four that charged Horan. Horan, a retired teacher, said, I'm emotionally drained. I've never been so frightened. Honestly, I thought I would be killed. Three days away from your front row seat to hear incumbent 5th District Congressman Doug Lamborn face his GOP primary challenger, General Bentley Rayburn. And the Gazette is proud to be a sponsor of this debate. What you need to know to be in the know about the debate on gazette.com. News, weather, and sports anytime, all the time. Your way when you want it on gazette.com. New morning and afternoon deliveries are online at 5 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Eric Singer. Have a great night.